We have a chilling tale to share with you, the dark and twisted story of Diogo Alves, Portugal's first serial killer. But what makes this story even more terrifying is the strange fate that befell his head. Before we dive into the topic, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating and scary stories from history. Our story begins in the 19th century in the vibrant city of Lisbon. Diogo Alves, a notorious criminal, terrorized the streets between 1836 and 1839, leaving more than 70 victims in his wake. His grisly crimes earned him the title of Portugal's first serial killer. Alves was no ordinary criminal. There was a method to his madness. He targeted innocent travelers passing through Lisbon's aqueducts, robbing and brutally murdering them. The city lived in fear, never knowing when or where the ruthless killer would strike next. His reign of terror finally came to an end when Diogo Alves was captured by the authorities. Alves' capture marked the beginning of a terrifying chapter in history as scientists sought to understand the origins of his murderous tendencies. In an unusual turn of events, Alves' mind became an object of scientific curiosity. After his execution, scientists decided to keep his head in a jar to study the criminal's brain for signs of abnormality or clues that might shed light on his violent behavior. Diogo Alves' head is now on display at the University of Lisbon's Faculty of Medicine. The preserved head serves as an eerie reminder of a dark period in Portuguese history and a fascinating artifact for those curious about criminal psychology. Can studying a criminal's brain really reveal the secrets behind his actions? The scientific community is divided, but Diogo Alves's head remains a tangible link to a terrible past. Here is the disturbing story of Diogo Alves, Portugal's first serial killer and the strength fate that awaits him. If you found this story interesting, don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends.